Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to Sudoku Tudes set number five, where we're going to go do a puzzle called Triangles. Um, this is a diagonal anti-king puzzle. So um, yeah, I I don't remember this puzzle at all, but I really like the shape of it. I can see why it's called triangles, because there's all of these triangles in the grid, but we have to try angles in the puzzle. I I don't remember making this. This would have been a puzzle I made months ago. Um, I made a whole bunch of Sudoku Tude puzzles um, uh, back when I was sick about three or four months ago. Um, and um, I was off work and it was a distraction for me. And then um, I've been pulling them to try and get a spread of difficulties and everything. And I think this was one of the first ones I did. Um, so I... Don't know, but um, it's really cool visiting these um, because this is be about puzzle sixty that I made or something, and I've now made nearly two hundred of them. You'll get to them all eventually. Um, so I've been having a lot of fun with these. So anyway, let's have a look at this one. So um, link, of course, below to this um, puzzle as well as to the entire historical archive. But let's have a look. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to put the digits one to nine without repetition. We have the anti-king rule. Now, what that means is um, digits, uh, cells that are kings move apart in chess may not contain the same digit. This is sometimes called un no touch or untouch. Basically, what it means is, for example, this being a five means that I can't put five in any of the cells that touch it. So normally, this could be a five by Sudoku, or let's pick a different one. Um, normally, this could be an eight by Sudoku, but it can't be because we cannot have two cells that touch each other, even at a point, contain the same digit. And then diagonal. Digits on these marked diagonals um, may not repeat. So because there's nine digits on each of those diagonals, they will contain all of the digits from one to nine. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So where do we want to start with this puzzle? Well, I can see nine and nine are looking up, putting nine in one of those two. Seven and seven are looking across, putting seven in one of those two, but the seven is looking down saying not there. So that's the seven. Should I be looking at the diagonals first? Yes, I should. Because look, four and seven can't be on this diagonal down here, and four and seven can't be on this diagonal here. So we know four and seven are on this negative diagonal because it's got a negative gradient. Um, in, in box five, but the seven can't be here. The four can't be here. This four also says the four can't be here. So this is the four and this is a seven in the middle of the grid because this can't be a four or a seven. So the four and the seven had to be here and that four resolves it. That's cool. So now four is in one of those two and that four says not there. That's a four, which puts a four here by Sudoku because I've got four fours looking into box three. Four, four, so four is in one of those two, and four is in one of those two. But I need to have a four on the positive diagonal, and I can't have it in any of those, and I can't have it in either of those. So that has to be the four, which means that's not the four, and that's the four. Nice touch, but no touch, no touching. Seven and seven means that there's a seven in one of those two, but the seven looks up saying no seven there, and that's a seven. I haven't even used the no touch rule yet. I'm assuming it'll come into play. I don't remember this puzzle at all, but that's all fine. Um, okay. Five isn't in any of those. Five is in one of those two. Okay, okay, okay. Can I do more with sevens? Seven isn't in any of those. Yeah, seven is in one of those two. No, no touching on that yet. Seven is in one of those two. Yeah, none of that has the no touch on it. And the seven in the middle means, of course, the seven is already placed on all of the diagonals. Okay. There'll be some sort of no touching coming into place somewhere. Like that three means that three is in one of those. Eight can't be in any of those or yeah, eight, right. Where's eight in this box? That eight sees both of those. That eight sees that one and that eight sees that one. That's the eight on the, on the diagonal, which means eight is in one of those two, but that eight says that can't be the eight and that has to be the eight. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now in this box, the eight can't be on the diagonal and that eight sees that one. So that becomes an eight, 
which means up here, eight is in one of those two. Now, eight in this box can't be in either of those, and that eight sees that one. So that's the eight on this diagonal. And now eight can't be on any of the diagonals here because I've already got eight on both diagonals. Eight can't be here or here. Eight is in one of those two, and that's because of the two place dates. Eight is in one of those two. And yeah, those are all lining up and I'm not seeing any anti-king that kicks that into gear. I can see it in six in this box. I need to put a six in this box, but that six sees all three of those cells. So that's a six, placing a six on the diagonal. So this is a triple, one, two, three, because I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, and three. Well, there's no three there. There's no two in either of those, and there's no three there. So that's the one I'm having typing issues. So this is the three, and this is the two. So now I've got a triple on this diagonal. I've got a one, two. I don't have a three. I don't have a four. I do have a four. I don't have a three, I've got a four, I don't have a five, I've got a six, seven, eight, I don't have a nine. So these are three, five, nine, and the three and the nine here makes that the five, taking the five out of both of those. This is a three, nine pair, and the nine makes that the three, and that the nine. I could have used the anti-king here. Yeah, it's been surprisingly little, little anti-king. There is a triple here, which is two, five, six. There's no five here, because of that. There's no six here. Okay. This triple is one, two, and six. There's no one there. And that is now a two, six pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. So this is now a three, seven pair, and the three makes that the seven and that the three. And now this is a triple, which is two, five, six. The five comes out of that one. There's something that hasn't been placed in this column. Three, three. There's a three up here, and that three says it's not there. That's the three. Now the three on this diagonal. There's a three off the diagonal in this box. There's a three off the diagonal in this box. So the three has to be in one of those two. Can I resolve that? Hmm. Eventually. What's this triple? I've got, I don't have a one. I've got two, three, four. I don't have a five. I've got six, seven, eight. So these are one, five, nine. Well, there's no nine there. Hmm, okay. Something will come. I need to put a one in this row. It has to be in one of those two. So one, two, six, and seven. Well, this has to be a one or a two because it can't be a six or a seven. This can't be a one or a two, so it's a six or a seven. And that seems to be able to be any of them. Oh, what's the triple in this column? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So this is six, seven, nine, and it can't be nine. That's a six, seven pair. So that's a nine, but that is a six, seven pair, which isn't being touched by anything. <laughs> wow. So the, oh, the two makes that the one. So this is two, two, six, because it can't be seven. And that's now the seven and that's the six because the seven here, seven, seven means that's the seven. This is a triple, three, eight, nine. Well, that can't be an eight. Neither of those can be nine. That's the nine. This is a three, eight pair, which means this isn't the three. This is the three. And these are pairs. One hasn't been placed, two, three, four, five, one and six go into those. So one, two, uh, four, two and five go into those. Okay. The six makes that the one by anti-king and that the six. That takes one out of there. The two six pair makes that the one. 
which takes one out of there. In fact, where's one in this box now? I can't put it in any of those cells. That's the one on the diagonal. This isn't the six because of that six. This three looks across, making that the eight and that the three, which means that's not the eight, that's the eight. What am I missing on this diagonal? I've got one, I don't have two. I've got three, four, I don't have five, I don't have six. So it's two, five, six, and nine. So this is two, five, six, it can't be six. So this is a two, five pair. And the two makes that the five, that the two, that the five. The two look at up making that the six, and this becomes the nine, making that the five, that the two. The two looks down making that the six and that the two. The two and the six makes that the five, which makes that the two and that the six, which looks across making that the two. And this is all coming together. I need to put a one in this box, but that one says not there. So that's the one. And now I need to put a six in this box, which goes there. This is a pair in the row, two and nine. And the nine looks down, making that the two and that the nine. In this row, I haven't put a six. And in this row now, I oh, in this box, I haven't put one, three or five. Now the three comes out of there. Three comes out of there. The one and the three comes out of there. So that's the five, that's the one, that's the three. Okay. So in this column, we haven't placed two and five. And the five looks across making that the two and that the five. The one five makes this the nine. And this is a one eight. And the one looks up making that the eight and that the one. So that's a nice little puzzle. Yeah, I'm not sure if I used anti-king on that one just because, or if I used anti-king to make the triangles work the way they did. Um, either way, I had fun. Um, not every puzzle needs to be a masterpiece, and I don't think this was, but I had fun with it. And if you had fun with it, if you could solve it without the anti-king, congratulations. Um, I'm not sure if it was solvable without the anti-king. Maybe I'll check. Um, Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle and as always, good luck with your solving.